To start, we need to understand exactly what a language model does. The simplest type of language model is a background model, in which using the last word, it wants to predict the next word. As models get larger and larger, we need to take into account the last 8 words, the last 10 words, or the last 2,000 words. That's what you see on, on large language models like ChatGPT in real time. So the text in the context window isn't actually broken up into words, but instead tokens. But for the sake of simplification, we're going to assume each token is a word. Since computers can only understand numbers, we need to encode these words into a sort of a vector, or in this case, it's called an embedding, which is going to tell the model which word it is. We will feed all these embeddings in the context window into a neural network, which we're going to use PyTorch, and then it's going to output an embedding of the next word that the model predicts it. So the first step is to acquire the training data, which I'm going to use with the Python language toolkit uh, library. Next, I'm going to build the tokenizer, which is either going to break the text into character level tokens or uh, a separate encoder of your choice using the TikToken library. After converting all of that to tensors and doing the train test split, um, uh, we need to declare the block size, also known as context window, which is going to be the number of tokens the model can see while predicting the next word. So this language model class is going to be the main of our model, and what it basically does is just compare the uh, model's output with the uh, supposed target and calculate the cross entropy or the log loss for this prediction. Now this is the attention class, which is much more mathematically complex, but the basis of it is based around of this equation, where each token actually contains three more information aside from which uh, its embedding, which is the q, k, and v values, uh, which we can get by multiplying the embedding of that token with a learned weight matrix. Then we can apply softmax activation to this matrix and add this to the original embedding. Overall, this process looks something kind of like this. So this is what the model outputs after training. It looks kind of bad and random, but uh, we can, for now, we can use the Atom optimizer to, to decrease the model's loss. As you can see, now the text looks much more like English, and you might even recognize some normal words. So now I'm kind of stuck here and don't know how to make the model better. So I just start messing around with the tokenizers and stuff.